welcome to LN space where sigma dx over dt applies when t equals 1 equals 0. Where energy is infinite limitless in flux yet remains the same trans-dimensional constant and abundant. We summarize this as real, behold, the light. Okay, and here we are on a beautiful August day. And I'm just giving you a close-up to show you that my clean, lovely Ural, it doesn't always stay clean, and it gets downright muddy. In fact, this mud was put on the bike uh, just today when I wanted to test out the new Duro uh, tire that I put on there. It's a knobby tire and uh, it works very well. I'll tell you, I got into some real mud. Last night there was uh, a big storm and everything and it loosened everything up and I headed right for a place where I knew there would be a lot of mud and I found it and I went through it and I did not get bogged down. Not with that tire. Compared to the regular Duro tires that you normally get on the machines and you can see the that's the regular duro tread pattern and coming back over here and that's the knobby tire tread pattern that's all nice and clean simple green and a garden hose yay all right so getting back to these tires now that you can see them better okay what we have here is the front tire, as came originally fitted, was the Duro HF 308 419. And that's the same tires on the sidecar. And on the pusher, on the pusher tire, what happened was that in about uh, 3,000 kilometers, it went absolutely bald and started to show through the canvas which is typical on a, a sidecar machine. The pusher tire takes uh, much more load than just a regular two-wheel machine. So the dealer recommended that I try this knobby tire, seeing as how I go off-road a lot. And uh, it was the Duro HF 307 419. And my first foray today off-road Boy, this thing, nothing stopped it. it. I mean, it was just in go mode. So uh, I'm very impressed with that tire. And I thought I'd uh, shout out to people that uh, if you're putting an, a new rear tire on your uh, Ural, that uh, you might look at the uh, HF 307 Duro 419. Uh, because if you do go off-road, it's the tire you're going to want. And apparently, uh, due to the depth of the rubber on it in the knobbies, it wears a lot better too. But I'm told never put it on the front because you see this width of rubber along here? You're going to need that to steer with and to hold the road, especially in rainy conditions. And on the sidecar tire, the same holds true. So you want to have... 308s on the front and the sidecar and you want a 307 on the pusher wheel. Now I've got another thing to talk about today. In my previous video where I, uh, I took all the pollution control out of the air cleaner and uh, fixed all that up and then I rejetted the carbs and got everything working there was just something else that just wasn't uh, to my liking and so a bit of an inquiry and I found out it was this thing here and this fits on the end of the pipe there and then this went into the muffler there and all it is is if you can see it it's a sort of honeycomb mesh that's that's your catalytic converter stupid junk and when I took it out of, of there moved the exhaust uh, what what's that eight inches 
that far forward, it meant that now the exhaust tip ends just before the rear axle. And to get it to fit, all I had to do was rotate the muffler so that the seam is on the outside. You can see that the curve takes it in closer to the bike. Now, that's a much better system and it gets it sort of out of the way of your leg in case you put your foot down you're not apt to hit your leg up against it and uh, burn yourself like I did once. Now my further inquiries was can I get say uh, a 24 inch piece of this stainless steel pipe just a straight shot tube and take it to the back and put on like a glass pack muffler and uh, the dealer who I was talking to said that they opened one of these exhausts up once to see how it was built. And the way it's built, they couldn't punch a hole through it to make it a straight through muffler. And uh, the other thing they found was when they put on uh, any other muffler like glass packs or that, the tuning of the machine is such that the back pressure uh, gives the machine some of its efficiency. So you take that back pressure away and suddenly uh, this machine will lose about 10 horsepower. And if you think it's a little bit anemic on the power side right now, it'll really suck uh, when you put on a, um, a straight through glass pack muffler. So I was told you can't do that. My next uh, sort of option is to buy that uh, one from New England that uh, changes the mufflers into two into one and writes a uh, specially uh, made muffler for back pressure and everything uh, out on the other side of the machine between the machine and the sidecar. I've already been in certain situations and where the bike cleared everything those mufflers went in the mud. If you want an improvement in performance if you take that out the bike runs better on these mufflers. Okay and that's about it for what I have to say today and uh, have fun with your Ural and keep on Uraling.